In our last video, we looked at the economics of batch size and how the psychology that controls socioeconomic behavior related to batch size actually has huge ramifications for how much agility you can attain to. The temptation to fall into dystopian waterfall is very real for a first-time digital player. The reason for this, of course, is that psychologically, it looks like the batch size that is optimum is the infinite batch size. Now, there's a very big difference between infinite batch size and 100% theoretical batch size. And that is the difference between Big Bang and dystopian waterfall. Let's take a look. The reason that infinite batch size so very easily turns into dystopian waterfall is that infinite batch size grows to accommodate any budget you can justify politically. What does that mean? It means the bigger your bureaucracy, the more top-down control you have, the more likely it is that there's incredible economies of scale and funding and planning to make your projects bigger and bigger and bigger. Now this is where Agile came from in the first place. We saw that these three to five year projects would get created and funding would get canceled in the middle of the project. That was its own form of agility. After all, here, project budget could just be chopped. That was the only fixed cost that would control total cost because we were ignoring holding cost or cost of delay to market. Now, infinite batch size means that we're going to continue to grow the total cost curve no matter what. As long as I've got the power to convince you that it's important, I can justify that the cheapest way to build it is to do it all at once, one function at a time. One thing I think is important to keep in mind is that all of this was on purpose. Historically, the leaders that created this economic situation did it intentionally to maximize shareholder value. At the time, 10, 20, 30 years ago, it didn't make sense to keep your own team. It made sense to focus on your core competencies. Digital innovation and the need for everyone to compete with information products just wasn't a reality yet. So it isn't that anybody did something wrong in the past. It does mean that if you aren't changing it now, you are ill-equipped to cope with the future. Now, everyone is a tech company, so you better get moving. Infinite batch size means you're making yourself infinitely slower, infinitely unable to answer your market, and infinitely unlikely to keep market share at all. You're just not competitive if you have no agility. Let's look at how you get to stage two and what it might mean for your organization. 